Yo, what's going on there people of the internet? My name is Devour. Today we are here to do another video. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to film CSGO like a pro. Now, you could obviously go into GoTV and just record a demo with like a recording software like Shadow Player OBS. Which does work and I've done it for a very long time, but it does not get the sick quality that this is going to give you. This is really good. It is great for velocity work because even if you slow it down to like 2%, it's still 100% smooth. There is no loss of frames or anything like that. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to give you a list of things that you need. Um, so what you're going to need, you're going to need CSGO and you're going to have it need it downloaded and installed on your computer, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, now, the thing with CSGO is you're going to have to have the file, the Counter-Strike Global Offense file that is in your common of your Steam folder, has to be located someplace with a lot of space. Um, just because you are going to be recording something in 300 frames and is going to literally put every single frame into this folder. So you really need a lot of room. Um, obviously you don't have to use 300 frames. Anything below 300 frames is still okay. It just loses quality little by little the lower you go. Um, you can obviously go above 300 frames as well. It just, you probably shouldn't. It will probably break your recording, uh, your editing software or something like that. Um, the next thing you're going to need, you're going to need virtual dub and a codec. They are going to be in the description below. That's for later though, let's get into recording first. Okay, so now I am in CSGO, I'm obviously in a windowed mode, just because it's easier to do recording stuff in a windowed mode. So what you're going to do first, I am offline and I'm going to tell you why I'm offline in a minute. But first thing you're going to want to do is go to options, game settings, and make sure that your enable developer console is checked to yes. Now this is the tilde key, it is below the escape key, above the tab key, and to the left of the one key. Um, you're going to need that because that's where you're going to type in all your commands. Uh, there's only a couple commands, there's not too many, so um, they're pretty easy to remember. So it's nothing crazy. Um, and that's pretty much all you're going to need. I am in windowed mode if you want to do that. It's in uh, video settings and it is right here in display mode. It's just easier to do this kind of stuff because this will take a little bit to render if you're doing a larger um, clip because it's just kind of like an editing software. You just kind of have to wait for it to render out. Um, so what you're going to do, so let's say I got a sick clip that I want to record and put into an edit or some kind of video. Uh, what you're going to do is wait until the game's over, go to your watch and go to your matches and you will find the game that you just played. Uh, you're going to click on it, go here to download and then it will pop up here in the downloaded section. So and then you're going to click on whatever match you want. So I'm going to click on this uh, cobblestone match here and I'm going to find the round where I got the clip. So this is my quad headshot. Uh, this is in round six. Remember round six, just in case you accidentally lose your place and go too far, you might want to go back around, and you got to remember that number, or else you kind of get confused and have to restart. So the easiest way to go to that clip is just by clicking on it, and it will automatically send you there. Okay. So once you get into your game, the game will start. I'm having this weird glitch where the mouse cursor comes up and it will let me uh, change characters. I think it's something to do with OBS, which is what I'm recording this video with. So you probably won't get this glitch, but I keep having it and it's annoying and I keep having to stop and do shit all over again. But um, we are going to first, I just got into the game, so obviously auto director's on and I'm not looking at my perspective, so I'm going to, um, by the way, you get this, t this little menu open by hitting shift F3. Uh, no, shift F2, uh, and it will open this up, and you can click pause and resume right here. So I'm going to click here and exit, and I'm going to just find myself. There I am, so I'm going to hit shift F2 again. Um, I don't think when you have this open, you can click and change your per like perspectives and stuff like that, so make sure you close out of that if you want to do that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to um, just find where the actual... Uh, clip is going to start. It's going to start right here. Um, so that's where I'm going to start my clip. I'm probably not going to go through the whole clip in this video just because it's it will take a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my console. 
um, and I'm going to type in CL underscore draw underscore only death notices. Um, you can just hit tab and it will autocorrect and make sure it's on one instead of zero because it autocorrects to zero. Um, and then what that does, it will get rid of um, everything except for your uh, kills, your kill feed. Now, the reason I'm on off offline mode is because this this method of recording records everything on your screen and not just your gameplay so if a little if you have like a notification that somebody's online or something like that it will automatically pop up um also i have i had my uh, fps on in the corner i turned that off just because again it will pop up in the recording later so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to do host underscore time scale um no, I'm going to do host underscore frame rate first. And then I'm going to hit tab again and I'm going to hit type in 300 or whatever you want to record this at. Um, obviously, if you don't have enough space to do 300 frames, you would do lower. So hit enter and then I'm going to do host underscore time scale. Time scale. And I'm going to put that as zero. Enter. Um, and then, yeah, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to actually start recording. Now to do this, you just type in start movie, all one word, no spaces, no underscores, space, and then whatever you want to call this. So I'm going to call this file uh, tutorial and that will just name it, uh, in your CSGO folder later. It will be all be called tutorial 0000, tutorial 00001 or like they'll just number themselves but they'll put tutorial or whatever you name it first in the name so i'm going to hit enter it will start recording movie frames will record after console is cleared so once i exit out of this it will start recording so i'm going to exit out of this i'm going to hit uh resume and i'm going to exit out of this window and what it will do is it will go super slow and it's supposed to do that and it's not going to look like this later um and it will also uh, it's rendering out every single frame, so it might get a little bit laggy and hiccup a little bit. And so don't worry about that, it's not gonna like, um, end up in the video later or anything like that. It will look very smooth and stuff like that. It will just kind of glitch out just a tiny bit because it's re rendering every single frame. Um, so, once you get done with your clip, I'm going to give it a few minutes, but once you are done with this clip, you are going to hit, you are going to hit the console again and you're going to type in end movie uh all one word no underscores no spaces um and it will stop the recording completely so um i'm not gonna wait too long for this I'm, i'll wait for this first kill because it, he is right around the corner um so let's just get that kill i don't even know how the fuck i hit that one anyways um so there's that so i'm just going to hit the console again and i'm going to type in end end movie enter and then it will stop the recording now i can just type in quit um in the console and it will completely quit me out of csgo um so you don't need any more csgo you are done so now what you're going to do is you're going to open up this application called virtual dub the link will be in the description below really really easy um application you just download it i didn't even unzip the file to open it you don't even have to it works completely in the zip file so you don't even really you don't even have to install it it's really quite simple um so i have it here it is just basically just a big white window you're going to go to file um open video file and you're going to go to your csgo folder that is in the counter-strike global offensive folder in your steam app steam common that stuff um and you are going to go to the very first one mine pop up as uh paint images they are called yeah they just they pop up as paint images i don't really know why but they do uh, yours will probably look different, but they will just be called whatever you named it, 0000 is the very first one. So click on that and hit open, and it will open every single frame. You do not have to, like, select every single one or anything like that. It will just, you just gotta click on the first one, and this, you, if you scroll through this little bar down here at the bottom, it will simply go through the entire clip. Now, here's some important stuff. 
If you don't do this stuff, bad things will happen. So the first thing you're going to do is go up to video and go to frame rate and you're going to, instead of having no change, which is at 10 frames per second, which is terrible, go to the change frame rate to and then type in whatever you used um, to record this. So as you can see here, I used the frame rate 300. So I'm going to use 300 for here as well. If you did less because you have less space on your PC, make sure you put in that number that you used. So I hit that and I hit enter and then go back to video and go to compression. Now this is where you need that codec that is also in the link below. If you do not have this codec, the file size is going to be giant. Um, this codec is really nice. It's super easy to install. There's no viruses or anything like that. And it, once you install it, you just never see it again. So it doesn't really screw with anything in your computer. Um, it's just a really easy codec. It's called the XVID MPEG4 codec. Um, it is in the link below, uh, description below, as I just said. Um, and I'm just going to click on that and hit OK. And then I'm going to go to File, Save as AVI, and put it uh, wherever you want it. And I'm just going to delete the zeros out of the out of the name, and it'll just stay as tutorial. And then I'm just going to hit Save. And then it will render, um, just like any editing software, it will just sit here and it will render. Now, I know this is a process. It is kind of a large process to get some clips, but honestly, this is the best way to do this. Um, it's really the easiest way and it's really, it really it makes it look so good. As you could probably tell by the beginning of this video, I probably put something in that's really fucking, it's just, it's sick. They, it um it just works well especially so if you've ever um edited gameplay um especially in like sony vegas you know when you first put in clips you always take off the resample you always disable resample it's kind of like a big big rule if you're recording 60 frames or 30 frames if um gameplay and stuff like that and trying to edit them you always disable the resample with this i only use smart resample because smart resample what it does is it merges frames together and it um gives it a really nice blur effect and motion blur and stuff like that but it only really works with higher frame rates um so 300 frames is a perfect example um, and it will take that 300 frames and it will make it so smooth and look so good and it will also um, be it works super great with uh, velocity because if you tank down the time scale and really lower it to be slow motion it really smooths out and it's still amazing because you know if you've ever used velocity before in Sony Vegas and you've done it with like a 60 frame or 30 frame video you know that if you drop it too low uh, you drop your time scale too low it really it makes it choppy it almost looks like this rendering image that i have right here in the background uh it, it just it doesn't look good it's very choppy because there's not enough frames to um accommodate the slow motion effect but with 300 frames it really drops it down and it really makes it look amazing so I think that's pretty much it. Once this is done, you're pretty much done. You're going to put this in your editing software, put some color correction on it maybe, make it look pretty, um, do some sick um, velocity work, do some sick uh, syncing up to music and stuff like that for your edits. And honestly, it's just, it's amazing. So anyways, guys, that's gonna be it. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. If you have any questions or comments or if I missed something, please let me know in the comments and I will definitely respond as fast as I can. I do not check my comments every day, but I really do when I see comments, I like them. I, I reply to them as much as I can and stuff like that. My video is done loading. Now, one thing to note uh, before I go, when you're viewing these AVI files, because it's an AVI file, it's a very large file. Um, and when you're viewing them in just your normal everyday Microsoft um, files viewer, where is, where is, where is um, it will kind of come out very choppy and it will just be super choppy and stuff like that. It's because the file is so, um, high quality and there's so much frames going on that it's hard for it to even render the frames real time so it's very choppy and laggy um make sure when you um render this out in like vegas or an editing software that you're using 
Uh, make sure you do it in an MP4 so that you can actually um, watch the file like I'm doing here. Um, make sure, because if not, you, you won't be able to view the file and when you upload it, it will be a giant file and it will probably take a very long time to, to render. Now, another thing to note, once you're done with making your video, every single time you make a clip using this method, make sure you go into your local disk um, and your Steam, Steam apps, and delete the excess, the, uh, the, all the, the picture files, um, because if not, these will stay in your hard drive and they will back up your entire hard drive. That's a big thing that you have to remember. Um, move them in here. And yes, so I think that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. And anyways, guys, peace.